Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in this world. This is Hajin Lee with a morning update for Bitcoin. I am going to redraw the line to include this for now to be within the line. within the pattern of that this descending wedge and that means that price is still within now I'm getting some flack from other elliotitians for counting this as a wedge they say they don't see 535353. Five, three, five, three. Fine. If you don't see it, you don't see it. I do. I see 53535. Five, three, five. And the last wave is coming down. And I have consistently been saying that we have one more lower low that's probably likely. And I entertained the early thoughts if this was the bottom. We could have the workings of the head and shoulders from a forward discernment pattern. People are giving me flag saying one, two, three, four. I never call this three and four. Hello, where did I ever call this three and four? Had a four overlap with one. Last night I had put my wave three above at this region. Now I'm raising it. I'm seeing this more as a potential as one, two, one, two. And it looks pretty good as a one, two, one, two, a nested one, two, one, two. And if you want to jump in my comments, and in a way advertise your own site, that's very interesting. So anyways, here is one, two, one, two, three, four, five for one of three, two of three. And if this comes out to be correct, the head and shoulders comes out, I will probably have to raise this three higher to fit one, two, three, four, five. And if you are very selective in what you criticize or comment on and not obviously have looked at or ignoring the whole, as if to say I'm calling the bottom, when I've been more consistent on this one more low, low likely, but if this is the bottom, we need to see higher highs that's been my consistent message but like i say <clears throat> whenever you get two elitations in a row there will always be conflict they will never agree on account so if this left shoulder and this head forms i may even have to angle this to get the right shoulder I don't know yet. And this is purely forward discernment, conjecture. I'm already seeing very nice evidence of volume confirmation. <clears throat> and my patterns, I always try and use in combination with earlier waves. If this does play out where we get a, a right shoulder, and this may have to move to the right because time will pass. For now, tentatively, as it had been said before, and if you missed it, I'll say it again. This is a tentative assessment where if we do get high or high, and I also said 
if price breaches the top line of this triangle, we may have a bottom. We haven't gotten that yet. I have not called a bottom. I'm looking for the evidence for the process of the bottoming. There were some, but we don't have the confirmations. Now, I <coughs> now <coughs> excuse me. If you want to count this as A B C D E, you're more than welcome to do so in your own analysis. One, two, three, four. This could be five, but I think we have one more lower low. And this is the region of 67, 6800 or so. And that region jives pretty well with the fact that this support line precision hits. the apex of the triangle. And my, I've already let this know to my clients, so I will push it out here. Concern is the following, that this whole thing is an A, will get a B bounce to maybe 18,000 or so, and then we'll get a C, decline that this whole thing is an A do it again to 18,000 a massive bounce for B and then maybe to 4,700 but I think more likely to 37.65. So my while leading diagonals are not as common, I can assure you if you're purely going by the textbook which was derived from equities and you're trying to overlay that as it is onto cryptos, you're going to find some differences. What it may seem real in equities it may not be as well in cryptos. Cryptos are a very different beast. Now, seeing this as a leading diagonal could lead to an A, B, and a C. That this is truly a, the completion of the correction. How will I know that this is a B and not a true breaker potentially to higher highs? What I looked for would be the indication of something that's very three wavish. Versus An impulsive drive. To all time new highs. If I get a very impulsive looking, vertical looking price, this ABC is not in play anymore. However, if I get a very A, B, C, three wavish looking wise, I'd be selling 
quite a bit, if not almost much of my holdings to come back in by here. I have no idea which way it will go. No one does. People are saying this will go to right away to 3,000. Is it possible? Yes. In fact, this bounce, B bounce, could be very small. And it will go straight down. There's another nature attribute that I will be looking for, the height of the bounce. And if the height of the bounce is very small, farming for cash at that point will be paramount. I had did not release this at all before, but might as well. It gives more reason as to why I think this is a diagonal, a leading diagonal. If you don't agree with this, fine. If this analysis does not augment your due, due diligence, I perfectly understand. No worries. Then I would suggest you conduct with your own analysis. Now going back to this, so far it looks three wavish. Yes. But it looks five, three, five to me. That's okay. It could still be ABC and we can go kaput. But I still maintain one, two. I'll have to probably raise the three to accommodate the rest of the subwaves. But this is, could be then one of three, two of three ABC. And we should and could start three of three. On a short degree of term perspective, that's what I'll maintain for now. If we get a new lower low, where 81.72 is broken, that might be a different story. So throughout the day, i like to see how the price takes this and see what happens. If needed, I will send out an update, midday update. Thank you and have a great day.